For better texturing results, I will use a higher poly model of the cleaver. I will duplicate my model using Shift plus D, subdivide it twice, and apply the modifier. The next step is to use vertex paint on your model. But before we do that, let's separate the parts. If we enter vertex paint mode with all the parts joined, the assigned color will cover the entire model, making it too time consuming to manually paint each part differently. With one part of the model selected, enter vertex paint mode by pressing Ctrl plus Tab. Use right click to pick a different color. Next, go to the Paint menu and select Set Vertex Color. Instead of accessing this menu next time while painting, I'm going to use the shortcut shown here. You will have a slightly different shortcut if you are using a PC. Proceed by adding color to the rest of your parts by going back to Object Mode, selecting the next part, and then returning to Vertex Paint. When it's all done, select all your objects with A and join them using the Ctrl plus J shortcut. Now, when we enter Vertex Paint for our model, we can see all the colors at once and exactly where we assign them. We are almost ready to export the model to Substance Painter. One more thing left to take care of is the unwrapping of the model. Open the UV Editor. Enter Edit Mode for your object. Select everything by pressing A, then press U and choose Smart UV Projects. Before confirming the unwrapping, let's change the island margin to 0.1. This will ensure that we have no overlapping. I'm also going to scale everything slightly to avoid any potential issues with the UVs in Substance Painter. And we're done. Our model is ready for export. With the model selected, go to File, Export, and choose FBX. Make sure that selected objects and mesh are checked. Optionally, depending on your model, you might want to uncheck animation and other options too. Open Substance Painter and create a new file. Increase the document resolution and select your exported FBX file. Before adding any materials to your models, we need to bake maps. Go to the Texture Set Settings, click on the Mesh icon, and then click on Bake Mesh Maps. There are two very important steps to adjust before baking the selected textures. With Common Settings selected, click on the Croissant Shape icon, increase the output size, and reduce the dilation width to zero. Next, with the eye deselected, change the color source from material color to vertex color. We're now ready to bake the textures. Once the baking is complete, you can return to painting mode and start dragging and dropping all the materials. Be sure to check your shortcuts and use the correct key combination to assign the material to specific parts of the model. In my case, I need to hold the command key. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video.